Hey everyone, a new teaser trailer dropped today for Ghostbusters 2020, an all new Ghostbusters film set in the original continuity. So technically I guess this would be the third film, although if you really want to be pedantic about it, I guess this would be the fourth installment. Being a minute long teaser trailer, there's really not a lot to talk about. The camera zooms in on an old barn, underneath a tarp is the infamous car, all accompanied by that great Elmer Bernstein score, and then essentially 2020. End. That's it. So that's all we have to work with right now. How do I feel about it? Eh, it's really hard to tell at this point. There's only so much to work with. I am <laughs> cautiously optimistic about something might be good. And of course, Ghostbusters, it's hard to talk about it without referencing the 2016 movie. You know, to be honest, I found it unfunny and I found it poorly written. I really wish the cast had been given a better script to work with. If you've seen them on Saturday Night Live, they're genuinely really funny actors, but they just didn't have a lot to work with in that last film. And for all the movies talk about strong, capable women scientists, it really wasn't until last year that we got Annihilation, which nobody watched. What's up with that? As for this new movie, I'm hoping that Dan Aykroyd returns as Ray and Ernie Hudson as Winston, Annie Potts as Janine. Who knows about Bill Murray? You know, he was in that 2016 movie as a cameo. It almost seems like it was a whole goof on the whole Ghostbusters thing. I don't know. We'll We'll see. Hopefully he will. The new cast has not been announced yet, but rumors are saying that the new team will be half male and half female, and I'm completely fine with that, honestly. If anything, I hope they take a cue from one of Sony's other recent movies, Enter the Spider-Verse, where they went with the whole message of anyone can wear the mask, this one they can easily subvert into anyone can wear the pack. And I'm really hoping they go with this instead of doubling down. If you don't like this movie, then you're a monster. As far as one minute teasers go, there's really only so much you can work with, but at least the tone feels more in line with the original films as opposed to the Scooby-Doo cartoony feel of the reboot. As for me, if they go out and do this movie right and try to appeal to both old fans and new fans, then I'm definitely going to check this one out. Catch you next time.